Yeah, I get some money. Welcome, everybody, to the Two-Way Street Virtual Coffee House. My name is John, and I'll be your host tonight. Uh, Two-Way Street has been providing live music for over 50 years, but uh, due to the COVID, we've gone to this live stream format, and we might almost be at the end of this soon. Uh, tonight, we have Michael Offit coming from our coffee house stage, believe it or not. <laughs> He's there by himself, well, except for maybe a camera person. Uh, Michael is not a newcomer to this stage. He's uh, been on this stage roughly around 20 times, with the first time being in June of 1978. Uh, so, like I say, he's not, uh, he's not uh, a new, newcomer to this. Uh, so, but this is Michael's, with this is with the first people the first person who's performed on the stage in over a year. But uh, not to be worried because we are not open to the public yet. You may call this a soft opening so that we can get our ducks in a row because we've been off for over a year and we're gonna need some time yet to uh, work out some of the details. Um, we've got performers lined up uh, through August uh, every Friday night, Joel Simpson has done, Joel and Jennifer, uh, who are co-directors, have done a, a great job in lining people up through the end of August. Um, there's no performance fee. Michael is playing strictly for your donations. So you can donate to Michael at the Two Way Street web, website. Uh, there's a red button you click on that says Donate to the Artist. Um, there's, uh, like I say, there's no performance fee. There's no ugly guy at the door. He's playing strictly for your donations. Um, if your heart desires to contribute, please be as generous as you can, because like I say, Michael is playing strictly for your donations. Uh, we use PayPal to gather your kind donations. Uh, are the donations go to Michael? Uh, you, if you have a PayPal account, good for you. <laughs> no, you, you, uh, you can donate, you know, directly there. But if you don't, don't worry because PayPal will also take a debit or a credit card. You go to the, to the way to donate, and it's pretty simple because even I know how to do that. Um, so, with that, <laughs> I'm tired of talking. I think I'll tell Michael, uh, go ahead and take it away, buddy. Oh, thanks so much. It's great to be here. And, uh, uh, you know, I really appreciate the chance, the opportunity <laughs> to be in these confines once more. I'm looking around and, and uh, you know, it is great. I did appear back in 1978, but I was only uh, four years old at the time. Uh, 
no, actually, uh, that was pretty old. But anyway, I feel good today, and I hope you feel good today, too. And one of the reasons I feel good is because I've had my coffee. I've had my coffee, and, and it helps me get started in the morning. And, you know, a lot of people have written songs about coffee and how they feel about it. And so this is my song. In the morning, I don't know where I'm going. Or if I do, I don't know where I am. It's like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle in action. But either way, I just don't give a damn. Then I have my coffee and I can see the light. When I have my coffee, everything's all right. Life is good and proper the way it ought to be. Coffee wakes me up and sets me free. Now in the morning, just like a zombie, oh, this poor old heart is trying to keep the beat. In a fog, I try to find my socks and shoes. Hell, I can barely find my feet. Then I have my coffee, and everything is great. When I have my coffee, I'm never late. Unicorns and rainbows are everywhere I go. It's all because I've had a cup of of Joe. Oh, the sound of that coffee maker brewing, the smell of the coffee in the air, that first sip and that precious sigh of relief. Without it, I'd be falling down the stairs. Oh, in the morning, I have lots of questions. And I wonder if I am cursed or blessed. Am I a prisoner, pawn, or a plaything? And I wonder if it all is just a test. Then I have my coffee, and I can pass that test. When I have my coffee, I'm better than the rest. I'm faster than a bullet stronger than a train. Coffee cleans and polishes my brain. Coffee is there when I need a push. It's the power that moves my stubborn tush. A cup of java means the world to me. Yeah, I truly am a coffee devotee. You have the right to disagree. But coffee is a better drink than tea. Tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Pull my hair, stole my comb, that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she's the belle of Belfast City. She's Gordon, one, two, three, please won't you tell me who is she? Albert Mooney says he loves her, all the boys are fighting for her. Knock on door, ringing on the bell, oh my true love, are you well? Out she comes, white as snow. Rings on her fingers, bells on her toes. Old Jenny Murray said she'll die if she doesn't get the fellow with the rolling eye. Tell me, my, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Pull my hair, stole my comb. That's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty. She's the belle of Belfast City. She's Gordon, one, two, three. Please, won't you tell me who is she? tumbling from the sky she's nice apple pie she'll get her own lead by and by when she gets a lad of her own she won't tell her not till she comes home let them all come as they will it's albert moon and she loves still tell me ma when i go home the boys won't leave the girls alone pull my hair stole my comb well, that's all right till i go home she is handsome she is pretty she's the belle of belfast city she's courting one two three Please won't you tell me who is she?
Well, I tried to get the fingers going there. More Irish. Well, I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, a long way from home. If you don't like me, leave me alone. Well, I eat when I'm hungry, I drink when I'm dry. If the moonshine don't kill me, I'll live till I die. Well, I've been a moonshiner for many years. And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. I'll go to some holler and set up my still. And I'll make you a gallon for a ten shilling bill. I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, I'm a long way from home. If you don't like me, leave me alone. I leave when I'm hungry, I drink when I'm dry. The moonshine don't kill me, I live till I die. Well, I go to some hollow in this country Ten gallons of wash, I can go on a spree No women to follow the world is all mine I love none so well as I love the moonshine I'm a rambler and a gambler a long way from home If you don't like me, leave me alone I'll eat when I'm hungry, I drink when I'm dry if the moonshine don't kill me, live till I die. Well, moonshine, dear moonshine, how I love thee. You killed me, old father. But I, you try me now. Bless all moonshiners and bless all moonshine. The breath smells as sweet as it do on the vine. <laughs> I'm a rambler, a gambler, a long way from home. If you don't like me, leave me alone. Oh, I eat when I'm hungry, I drink when I'm dry. Moonshine don't get me, I'll live till I die. Tim Finnegan lived in Walking Street, a gentle Irishman, mighty odd. He had a brogue, both rich and sweet, to rise in the world he carried a high. You see, he'd sort of a tippler's way. For the love of the liquor poor, Tim was born. To help him on his way each day, he'd a drop of the crater every morn, white with the dawn of dance to your part the white before you try to shake wasn't it true i told you lots of fun finnegan's way one morning tim got rather full his head felt heavy which made him shake fell from a ladder and he broke his skull they carried him on his corpse to wake they rolled him up in a nice clean sheet And they laid him out upon the bed A gallon of whiskey at his feet A barrel of porter at his head Whack with a dumb dance Do your part and wipe before you try to shake Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's wake Now his friends assembled at the wake Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch First she brought in tea and cake and pipes tobacco and whiskey punch Biddy O'Brien began to cry Such a nice clean corpse Did you ever see? Tim O'Vorian, why did you die? Why'd you hold your gob? Said Betty McGee And walk with the donut Dance to your partner Wipe the floor Your trotter's shake Wasn't it the truth? Told you lots of fun Then it gets weak Then Maggie O'Connor Took up the job Biddy says, she you're wrong, I'm sure. Biddy gave her belt in the gob, left her sprawling on the floor. Then the war did soon engage. A woman to woman and man to man. Shillelagh law was all the rage. And a row and a ruction soon began. Whack for the dome dance, to the part to white before. Try to shake, wasn't it the truth? I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Whack for the dumb dance, do your part, wipe the floor, you try to shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Now Mickey Maloney ducked his head. 
when a bucket of whiskey flew at him. It missed and fallen on the bed. The liquor scattered over Tim. Tim revives. See how he rises. Timmy the rising from the bed. Sang, whirl your whiskey round like blazes. Tell him I'm do you think I'm dead? Oh, whack for the donut dance till you find the wipe the floor. Your trotter shape wasn't it the truth? I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Way. Whack for the donut dance till you find the wipe the floor. Your trotter shape wasn't it the truth? I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Way. Bunch of, <laughs> thank you. Bunch of Irish tunes. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, oh yeah, I just remembered. Uh, I do like, I do like love songs. Uh, you know that last one was kind of an odd love song, but uh, you know the, the Irish love, love everyone, of course. And uh, it all comes out at the wake for sure. But uh, you know when you write a song, when I try to write a song about uh, about love, I always end up falling into the valley of, of the cliché. It just, it's just very difficult for me to be original when I've heard so many songs that uh, do such a better job than what I can do. So I thought what I would do is just, just write a song with just clichés in it. So this is, uh, this is that song. Let's see if I can get into this. Oh, the writing on the wall says stop and smell the roses. He who hesitates is lost, and that's the bottom line. So I burned all my bridges and got the show on the road. But ignorance is bliss and love is blind. And I don't know what to say. Our love was just a big cliché. You were a bird in a gilded cage With bats in your belfry A fly in the ointment A bull in a china shop I was just a paper tiger With a frog in my throat And a leopard doesn't change his spots Pardon my French, but you gave me carte blanche So I opened up Pandora's box That same old song and dance I hit the ground running, but I didn't have a clue As dense as a London fog with ants in my pants And I don't know what to say Our love was just a big cliché serious now we fought like cats and dogs and if the shoe fits wear it the more things change the more they stay the same but it was way more fun than a barrel of monkeys it's not if you win or lose but how you play the game and with all due respect there was an elephant in the room I didn't have a clue that's the bottom line Beauty is a fading flower It's all just bells and whistles To air is human Giving is divine That was a labor of love but For crying out loud We were barking up the wrong tree And running out of steam Yep Elvis left the building And hey, Bob's your uncle Things are never what they seem when you're living in a dream And I don't know what to say Our love was just a big cliche And I don't know what to say Our love was just a big cliche Been a haircut, two bits Oh, thanks. Odd, I know, I know. It's a very odd song, but... Um, in the uh, 
in the blurb about me, it mentioned that I do educational songs. And uh, I used to be a chemistry teacher uh, in, up in Barrington. And uh, I wrote a lot of songs. And in fact, uh, this year I'll be working once again on the annual Mole Day song, which is coming up soon. And I'm a little behind. I'm not going to tell, on, you know, I'm not going to say exactly what the, uh, what the theme is this year. I don't want to give it away, but it's going to be exciting as usual. And for like 20 years I've been doing this. But I write all sorts of other sciencey sort of songs, you know. And this is, I, so I thought I would share a couple of them with you. And this one is, um, this one is about a very interesting uh, thing. It's called Absolute Zero. You know, and I was thinking outside, my gosh, it's so hot outside. Uh, temperature is really important to us, isn't it? And when you think about the temperature scale, heck, I, you know, where does it start? Where does it, does it, I, I know it probably never ends. It keeps going up and up and up until like the universe explodes. So the lowest te possible temperature is absolute zero, which is minus 273.15 uh, degrees Celsius, which is, that's right. And zero is what they make the temperature scale start at, and it's Kelvin's. So anyway, I thought I'd write this song. And, and it's, it's the kind of thing that's probably good to know if you're going to take a test. Well, don't go outside if it's absolute zero. You wouldn't last very long. That's so cold that almost all Molecular motion is gone You could bundle up and do jumping jacks But no, you'd never survive Cause absolute zero in Celsius degrees Is minus 273.15 Absolute zero I learned about it in Absolute zero is absolutely cool. Now the absolute temperature scale is measured in Kelvins. Oh, by the way, absolute zero is right at the bottom. And yes, that's really okay. Get it? Science has tried to reach absolute zero, and the truth is they've really come close. But will they ever reach absolute zero? The answer is probably no. Absolute zero. I learned about it in school. Absolute zero. Now, if you ever get called an absolute zero, don't let it fill you with angst. Because if somebody calls you an absolute zero, just smile at them and say, thanks. Then give them a lecture on absolute zero, and they will be very impressed. Later, they'll thank you for helping them get a better grade on the test. Oh, absolute zero, I learned about it in school, absolute zero. So that was one of those songs, and it's really, it will come back. Uh, I have another couple for you. But so, you know, I was thinking, yeah, speaking of cold weather, it's, you know, it's really cold out there. And, and uh, in the, 
not now, it's not cold, but it can get really cold where, where bobsled Bill lives. Because bobsled Bill lives way up in, in the northwest where it's very, very cold. How cold was it? Was it up there? Well, it's so cold that your shadow will freeze to the ground. It's so cold that the flames on a fire will freeze solid. And they, they break them off and they stack them in the corner and they grind them up and they use them later on as a pepper substitute. It is so cold that people's words will freeze in midair. That's right. They'll be walking along saying, yeah, we went out, Sally and I went out for a date and, and they're, your words will just freeze in midair. You're bumping into frozen words all the time. You got to wait till the spring thaw to catch up on the latest gossip. I mean, and it got cold fast up there, so fast that you know there's a story about the the two guys in in the in the kayak, in the kayak. They went out fishing, fishing in the kayak, and it got really cold really fast. Like that movie, I can't remember the name of the day after tomorrow or something, where the, the vortex of cold shoots down and. And so the only way that they could survive is to take the paddles, that's right, break them off, break them up, stack them into the middle of the kayak and light them. And unfortunately, well, yes, it burned through the bottom of the kayak. And it, they, you know, it went down and they, they died. And so uh, that just goes to show you, you can't have your kayak and heat it too. It, Bob Sled Bill, kind of, this story is... Um, about Bob Sled Bill going in and bragging. And, and unfortunately, everybody laughed at him. Now, bragging used to be, used to be an art form. And, you know, people would go, like Bob Sled Bill would go in and say, he'd say, well, I'm half horse, half alligator with a touch of snapping turtle in me. I can climb up a streak of lightning 100 foot tall with a wild can or each arm and never get a scratch on me. I can walk like an ox, run like a fox, swim like an eel and fight like a mad bull. I'm shaggy as a bear, wolfish about the head, active as a cougar, and I can grin like a hyena till the bark will curl off a gum log. I got a sprinkle of all sorts of me from the mountain lion and down to the snake, and I th swear by the time we're through, you shall pronounce me an entire zoological institute. He came in and did that and went bad that night. Everybody laughed at him, and so this is the story uh, I wrote about Bob Sled Bill, a uh, mythical character, uh, getting lost and finding his, finding his way back home. That's happened to you. It's also a story about the resurrective power of strong drink. Where way up north where your whiskers free, the air is crackling cold. Where mountains stand all winter white, there's a tale that's told. All about old Bob Sled Bill packed up through the pine. Up where the wind can kill above the timber line. One night old Bill was drinking and bragging he was tough when everybody laughed at him that was quite enough well the booze in billy bellowed out you ain't no friends of mine your hearts are colder than the ice above the timber line well with nothing but his buckskins on and a little leather sack he marched out in the blizzard never looking back with whiskey warming up his blood and clouding up his mind, oh Bob Sled Bill got good and lost up above the timberline. Now the wind ripped round the mountain, chilled him to the bone. By morning he was stiffer than a statue made of stone. A grizzly come and dug him up, but when it tried to die, it broke a tooth and lumbered off above the timberline. Well, he stayed up there all frozen, seven years and all. Way too high in altitude for anything to thaw. Till one December morning, the sun began to shine. Melted down an avalanche from above Timberline. Now a wave of snow swept over him and carried him on down. He torpedoed through the mountain and headed into town. He busted through the bar room wall, sent all the patrons flying. Oh, Bob Sled Billy had returned from above the timberline. 
Now when the crowd regained composure, they gasped in disbelief. My God, it's a frozen man, said Timothy O'Keefe. Yep, said old Doc Wilson, sipping from his stein. He's colder than a boulder from above the timberline. Then Cindy Lou, the barmaid, said, I think I know that face. It was seven long years ago in this very place. We laughed at him, and now we are all guilty of this crime. That's poor old Bob, Bill, whatever his name was. We drove above the timber line. Now, Slug McKay from Dog, Dogfish Bay said, I, I tell you what I think. Bill's been gone for so very long, I think he deserves a drink. So they put a bottle in his mouth and it emptied in no time. I guess said best a man gets thirsty above the timber line. And old Bill's complexion turned from blue to pink. Everybody cheered when they saw Billy blink. He stretched his limbs and he hollered out, Folks, I'm feeling fine. There's nothing like a bobsled run from above the timber line. Way up north where your whiskers free, the air is crackling cold. Where mountains stand all winter wide, there's a tale that's told. All about old bobsled Bill who packed up through the pine Up where the wind can kill above the timber line <laughs> Yeah, it's, yes, twisted, a very twisted sort of idea there, but not any more twisted than This is the uh, another educational one that uh, I want to share with you so we're all aware of global warming. Again, we, we see how hot it is outside, and, but there are a lot of other things. You know, there's actually scientific, true scientific evidence that's, that explains, describes the fact that we are, you know, we're just kind of in a trend here. And for sure, we want to try to do what we can about it. You know? And one of the things, there are, there are greenhouse gases. Some of you out there probably could name them. I don't know, there's like four of them and then a category, something like that. But one of, the, one of the greenhouse gases, one of the major greenhouse gases out there is, is methane, CH4. That's a carbon single bonded to four hydrogen in a, in a nice uh, 104.5 degree angle. Uh, you, yeah, you'll get it. Look it up. And the deal is methane gas is, it, is too much of it. And one of the biggest sources of it, and you've probably been reading about it, are, are cattle. Cattle. Methane gas. The methane gas comes out of them as just as they live, you know, they, they belch, you know, and of course they fart, and and the uh, the methane gas keeps coming out. And so they, they're, they're trying to think of some way to solve that problem. And, and it's become political. People are saying, well, we shouldn't, you know, we should reduce the amount of cattle, uh, you know, not eat so much uh, hamburger and all that kind of thing. Well, but that's, you know, that's just kind of impractical. Anyway. So this is my song. It's tried to lift up uh, the uh, concern. Um, so here you go. Well, I was driving by a farmhouse on a warm and sunny day. I saw some cows out grazing. They were happy and okay. Then I had an awful feeling as I was driving past. Those cows were making methane. And that's a greenhouse gas You gotta move, move, move right now And manage all those methane cows That global warming will not wait And that's an utterly abysmal fate So in case you missed that, the chorus is You gotta move, move, move right now and Manage all those methane cows That global warming will not wait and that's an utterly abysmal thing. Well, cows are very gentle and they always do their part. They give off lots of methane when they belch and when they fart. A cow produces more than 30 gallons every day. That's a lot of Guernsey gas headed this away. You gotta move, move, move right now. And many 
Bleach all those methane cows That global warming will not wait And that's an utterly abysmal thing Well, they tried mixing in some seaweed with the cattle feed to help reduce the flatulence. And they may well succeed. You could put the cows in bubbles and collect the gas for fuel. But that's very inefficient. Let's face it, rather cruel. We gotta move, move, move right now and manage all those methane cows. That global warming will not wait. And that's an utterly abysmal fate I know you've heard it But when you take stock of the situation And do the calculus There's a lot at stake I would never steer you wrong And that's no bull I have nothing to hide But I don't want to be too bossy Because it's probably past your bedtime We gotta move, move, move right now And manage all those methane that global warming will not wait And that's an utterly abysmal fate That's an utterly abysmal Cowardly and dismal Truly cattle clears me <laughs> Yes, 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 yes Well Thanks for being patient uh, through some of the educational portions of the program, and that's, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of settling into this routine of, uh, you know, it's really wonderful seeing for you out there. I know what you're doing because I've been watching the show. You're sitting having a beer right now, and, uh, and maybe some, you know, maybe dessert. You're having some dessert. And there's no doubt about it, it's nice and relaxing. But it's not going to be as good as coming out here when we, when we reopen the fall. You're going to be sitting at these tables. It's going to be wonderful. And there's a sense here. Right now, it's, there's an emptiness. <laughs> but when you, when you come, we're excited, so excited about having you back. And you're going to really, you know, we'll be able to uh, interact with you. And our timing will be back. <laughs> we'll search of things over here. Tuned up for sure. I think I'm in tune here. So, so how? Let me see if I can get this banjo organ.
So I got it warmed up. So it's time for shanties. I'll be your shanty man. We'll do three shanties. And uh, the first one is not really a shanty. It's actually uh, a naval song, a British naval song that was uh, that kind of got into the uh, list. It's very old. It's probably older than the others. Then we'll do a halyard shanty. And the halyard shanties, that's for when you're like pulling up sails and you got a hoist and then and hoist and and then the last one we'll do is a capstan shanty. That's where you go one, two, three, four, five, so pushing the capstan to pull up the anchor. So I'll do the best I can on these. For the sail for old England, but we hope very soon to see you again. And we'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We we'll rant and we'll roar on the salt seas till we strike soundings in the Channel of Old England. Oh, from Marshall to Sydney, it's 35 leagues. Our ship to to the wind at Southwest. We'll hold our ship to our soundings to see. We've rounded and sounded 45 fathoms. For oh, we squared our main yard up, channel steered me. We rant and we'll rave like true British sailors. We rant and we'll rave on salt sea up till we strike soundings in the channel of old England. Oh, from silly. Now the first land we made, it is called the Dead Man, and then Ram Head off Plymouth, Portland and White, we sailed by Beachy, Fairly and Dungeness, till we came abreast of the South Pole and Light, and we'll rant and we'll roar, like true British sailors, we'll rant, we'll roar, all on the South Sea, up till we strike sound and the channel of Old England, all from our shores, silly. So you got that beer right there. I see you. You got that beer. You can raise it in the air and go back and forth. And the signal was made for the Grand Fleet to anchor all in the downs. The night for to lie at stand by your stoppers. Clear your shank painters and all your clue garnets. Tax and chiefs flying. So let every man toss off a full bump. A full glass, we'll drink and be married. Drown melancholy, drown melancholy. I like that. Singing here's good health to each two-hearted lad. And we'll rant and we'll rave like true beauty sailors. We'll rant, we'll roar all on the salt sea till we strike soundings in the channel of old England. All from our son to silly. Whiskey is the life of man, whiskey from an old tin can. Whiskey, yo, Johnny, yo, rise her up from down below. Whiskey, 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 yo, up aloft this yard must go. John, rise her up from down below. Now, whiskey, made me pawn me clothes. Whiskey gave me a broken nose. Whiskey, yo, Johnny, yo, rise her up from down below. Whiskey, 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 yo. Up aloft, this shard must go, John, rise her up from down below. Well, I thought I heard the old man say, Treat me crew in a decent way. 
Oh, whiskey, oh, Johnny, oh, rise her up from down below. Whiskey, 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 oh, up aloft this yard must go, John, rise her up from down below. With a glass of whiskey all around, and a bottle for the shanty man. Hey, whiskey, oh, Johnny, oh, rise her up from down below. Up aloft this yard must go. Up aloft this yard must go, John, rise her up from down below. Oh, in South Australia I was born. Heave away, haul away, South Australia round Cape Horn. Bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king. Heave away, haul away, haul away, you hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. I went out one morning fair. Heave away, haul away, so there I met Miss Nancy Blair, bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king, heave away, haul away, haul away, you hear me sing, we're bound for South Australia. Well, just one thing that's on my mind, heave away, haul away, leaving Nancy Blair behind, bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king, heave away. All the way, all the way, you hear me sing, bound for South Australia. And as we while I'm wound Cape Horn, heave away, all the way, you wish to God you've never been born, bound for South Australia. All the way, you rolling king, heave away, all the way, all the way, you hear me sing, bound for South Australia. Now South Australia is so grand, heave away, haul away, it's full of rocks and fleas and sand, bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king, heave away, haul away, haul away, you hear me sing, bound for South Australia. Haul away, you rolling king, heave away, haul away, haul away, you hear me sing, we're bound South Australia. Yeah. Out of breath, see, I would be not a good uh, crew person, but that's what the that's what the shanty man was all about. That's what he was for, to pick the tempo, and uh, they said something like he was worth four sailors because of the way he could make the the men work. Pretty cool. So I don't know if you want to be. I guess that's all. Maybe the shanty man just sings, which would be good. I gotta catch my breath. So this is actually, let's see if I can get the temple right here. This is uh, <laughs> probably the most famous Irish song. Well, I've been Spent all my money on whiskey and beer, and now I'm returning golden gray store, and I never will play the wild rover no more, and it's no me never, no me never no more will I play. Went to an alehouse I used to frequent. I told the landlady my money was spent. I asked her for credit, she answered me nay. Such a costume as yours I can have any day, and it's no name never. No name never no more will I play. Never no more. So I brought from a pocket ten sovereigns bright, and the landlady's eyes open wide with delight. She said, "I have whiskies and wines of the best," and the words that I spoke they were only a jest, and it's no.
go home to my parents confess what I've done and I stand to pardon their prodigal son when they pressed me soft times before I never would play the wild rover no more and it's no nay never no nay never no more will I play Never, no more will I play the wild rover. No, never, no more. <laughs> no, nay, never. So I've got, uh, I just have two more uh, songs to do. And uh, the... Um, the first one is uh, another song I wrote. It's about uh, it's about the Pony Express, and uh, it turns out that the Pony Express was a, a very short-lived uh, enterprise. It was my gosh, it was only lasted about eighteen months, but it was made up of very young boys that rode all the way from St. Louis, uh, Missouri. I guess it's Missouri all the way out west, and it was the it, it was the it was just absolutely the one way of transmitting information from the, uh, from the east to the west. It, uh, it was a financial failure because just two days before they folded, they connected up the telegraph. And so the speed of light is difficult to beat when you're on horseback. And so that's, this is a story about that. <laughs> Back in 1860, we all were young and fit, aching for some fun and a chance to prove our grit. There was this brand new company who needed boys to ride. So we went down to the terminal and hastily applied. And we gathered up our courage Took off down the trail from St. Joe to Sacramento, carrying the mail. On brave little mustangs, we crossed the wilderness for the central overland California and Pikes Peak Express. Now in May, the Paiute warriors did their very or against the settlers to drive them from the well. Some of us were captured, oh, and some of us were killed. But we rode on through the fear and doubt, despite the blood that spilled. And we gathered up our courage, took off down the trail from St. Joe to Sacramento, carrying the mail. Across the wilderness For the central overland California and Pikes Peak Express We battled through the blizzards And through the driving rain Made each relay station Hit the trail again Gallop through the dark of night, just stars to guide our way. And we made 1,800 miles in just about 10 days. We could beat the weather, but we couldn't beat the wire. Progress and the telegraph forced us to retire. But the folks, they made us heroes. Kept us in their hearts We were grateful for their kindness And proud to do our part And 
we gathered up our courage Took off down the trail From St. Joe to Sacramento Carrying the mail On brave little Mustangs We crossed the wilderness For the Central Overland California and Pikes Peak Express For the Central Overland California Pikes Peak So one more tune, thank you. One more tune, and uh, the um, uh, this is uh, this is I got a lot of folks out there that may be watching, um, and uh, I, I'm not going to mention all your names, but but we have uh, there are people that are taking care of their their mom and uh, looking for they're in some health uh, have some health uh, challenges coming up and and uh, all sorts of things around us, you know, and uh, that have built up. And even though things are loosening up, it's there's a weight, you know, that we're we're kind of trying to offload. Like, how do we, you know, how do we do that? How do we get back? Um, what it, what what is the etiquette? What is the social etiquette? And, but but the thing that we need to remember is that there's an awful lot of us that are feeling that way, and in a sense, we can feel together, feel like we're together on on this. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears. Why we all such sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ear. Oh, hard time, come again no more. Tis a song, the sigh of the Hard times, hard times, come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times, come again no more. While we seek mirth and beauty and music light and gay, there are frail forms fading outdoors. Their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Tis a sigh that is wafted across the troubled way. Tis a wail that is heard upon the shore. Tis a dirge that is murmured around the lowly grave. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, the sigh. Hard times, hard times, come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times, come again no more. Oh, hard times, come again no more. Hey, what a what a great sound! You know, uh, with all those Irish songs, <laughs> we're we're gonna have to just say there, there's coffee in me cup, and you can uh, think it out yourself. But what a beautiful concert! Uh, oh, and the, I'm just ex so excited about seeing the coffee house back. <laughs> you know, back uh, having performer on stage. So, <laughs> good good job, Michael. But next week, uh, June the 25th, we have uh, we we are having An Anja Duvkat, 
and I hope I'm not slaughtering that name. Uh, she's a singer-songwriter out of the Boston area, uh, and uh, so she'll be with us. Uh, like I say, if you found us here, you're going to be able to uh, find her next Friday. Again, uh, uh, you know, 8 to 9 o'clock. Uh, she will be performing, not here at the stage, but from her place in, uh, in the East Coast. Um, so anyway, that's that. Uh, there's a sing-around tomorrow at the, it's not in the coffee house, it's in the big room down the hall. And it can either be in person or virtual, and that's two to four in the, on Saturday afternoon. Uh, you go to the Two Way Street website if you're gonna be virtual, and you can make your connection there. Uh, I have to give a big shout out to Tim Kendall, who's our virtual tech. Uh, he's the guy who makes all this happen, you know, because some of us are, you know, just sitting here, but Tim has to be the guy pushing the buttons. I always talk about Tim being the man behind the curtain. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Michael, you know, thank you for your wonderful music. Do you have one more? Please say yes. I do. <laughs> I do have one more. Take it away. All right, then. This is for everybody out there, and especially all you guys, Tim. Thank you so much. And uh, when we think about our lives, a lot of it goes by real fast. It's almost like, you know, going out on a walk uh, down some train tracks, and, you, and you, uh, you, know, you look back and you wonder how far you've been and without even thinking about it. And what, is our, what are our lives all about anyway? And maybe it's to leave, some, at least on earth, it's maybe to leave some things behind, good things that we do for others. And boy, that's, my life is filled with people like that, and I, and I hope you can be that way for others around you. So here's a song about that, kind of. Well, long ago a train ran on these tracks carried freighting people up and back now the rails have all begun to rust and all the ties are turning in the dust but you can still hear that whistle on the wind even though that train is long gone you don't have to worry about leaving this world if you know someone will listen for your song Where well, you can balance on the rails and walk the ties Make that game your only enterprise And by the time you think I'm looking back Find yourself a long way down the track And you can still hear that whistle on the wind Oh, that train is long gone Oh, you don't have to worry about leaving this world If you know someone will listen for your song Down the line you make a friend or two And if the song you sing for them is true Someday even though you're long gone The music of your life will linger on And you can still hear that whistle on the wind Even though that train is long gone don't have to worry about leaving this world If you know someone will listen for your song And you can still hear that whistle on the wind Even though that train is long gone You don't have to worry about leaving this world If you know someone will listen for your song and the music of your life will linger on. God bless everybody. <laughs>